two very honored Frater BTs, Esoterra Nerd Podcast, episode 114. This one is uh, kind of a special episode. Now, back in episode 8 with Phoenix Suvias, uh, I began a segment called The Real Rosen Cruz. <laughs> so, this is a reference to a few things. Um, the Rosenkreutz Orden, that's German for the Rosicrucian Order. Not to be confused with AMORC. Um, if you're here looking for content specifically about AMORC, then I recommend this video. Um, that's about them. Uh, but this is about the real Rosicrucian Order, uh, the one that was started, one could say, in 1614 in Kassel, Germany. What happened was uh, when people woke up that day and they went out to fetch milk or whatever you do in 1614 in Kassel, Germany, they noticed probably on the church uh, door, because from what I understand, like that was a popular place for Martin Luther to put his, his 95 treaties. Uh, this manifesto would have been there. It was just here and there, and people found it. And the... So, okay, long story short, uh, this document appeared, and it announced that this order had been in existence already for uh, 100 years, and, um, or over 100 years. Uh, in, in it, it says that the founder was born in 1378. I had to go back and edit this part in because I forgot. Um, the other meaning of the real Rosencreutz Orden is it's a reference to Trinity Blood, which is a Japanese anime. And in that world, there is a group of evil Nazi vampires called uh, Rosencreutz Orden. So, yeah. In this one, we're talking about the real Rosencreutz Orden, not the Trinity Blood one. Okay, so uh, what are we doing here? Yeah, so I'm going to play the whole thing. It's about 40 minutes. It's the whole Fama Fraternitatis. So if you're into that, um, what it is is you're going to hear Frater Yod Tov reciting the entire thing in German. Except there was one Latin part that for some reason is missing from the German version. Um, so you'll hear the German cut out toward the end and it's just me speaking in Latin. And then the German comes back in and then you hear me speaking in English. The German is a little quieter so that it hopefully doesn't interfere too much with the understanding or the enjoyment of the English. Also quietly in the background are various selections from the soundtracks of various Zelda games. I um, am what, what you call a Xenial. Uh, maybe you don't call me that, but some people call me a Xenial. Uh, in other words, I'm old enough to remember playing Atari before Nintendo. So the kids that only remember Nintendo, they're called Millennials. They're now the eldest, the eldest of the Millennials. Uh, turning 40 and, and whatnot, turning 41 this year. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just sorting things out here. So, so I, uh, I played the first Zelda when it came out. I played the second Zelda. I was badass on both of those, right? And then, uh, then they came out with the Super Nintendo, and my mom knew a scam when she saw one. And she said, you know, I, I got you the Nintendo, and that's where it ends. And so for me, that's, that's where it ended until this year. I, uh, I got the Skyward Sword and the Twilight Princess, and I bought this Nintendo Switch. So I jumped from the NES in 1987 to the Switch in 2021. <coughs> so perhaps it was this lack of Zelda's presence, or Link's presence in my life, other than at Smash Bros at my friend Andre's house, um, that uh, resulted in my, my, my fondness for the, the music. Um, there was a period where I was emphasizing that the whole thing is just a game, it's just a video game. So if you're reading that into it, eh, you're on to something. Um, but don't take that too seriously. That was, that was sort of my post, you know, breakup with the uh, particular order that I was with kind of cynicism. Although, you know, on a, on a more transcendental level with a capital G game, perhaps although that's, that's controversial. Um, 
Now, yeah, so, so a young man goes off on his own on an adventure, right? That's the premise behind um, the Zelda games, basically. So, you know, it's the same basic idea. A young man uh, goes off on an adventure, and then he comes back, and he founds the Rosicrucian Order. Too many spoilers. I've said too much. I'll just let you enjoy the recital. Now, the quality toward the beginning might be a little iffy in parts. Just, you know, be patient through those parts and it'll it'll get better. And the very last part of it I'm going to be recording right now today. Uh, basically, in episode 113, I recorded and realized there were just a few pages left, like two and a half pages left. So I figured now would be a good time to put this one out. And so uh, for all my brothers and sisters and siblings of all kinds in uh, all the various manifestations of Rosicrucian orders, Society Rosicruciana in Anglia, uh, Rosé Rubé at Ore Crucis, um, the Fellowship, and those who don't use the name Rosicrucian in their name because of, <laughs> well, if you see that Amark video, that'll make sense. Harvey. Guys named Harvey. I don't know. There's an invisible rabbit. There's a Weinstein. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, but first... Corrections, Corrections Department. So, I know it's asking a lot, but I'm going to ask you to bear with me for another few minutes or so. Particularly those of you who are not watching this on YouTube. If you're listening to this, this part may not make a whole lot of sense, but just bear with me. You know how sometimes when you're walking down a dirt road in the middle of a rainforest, and then uh, you gotta like walk right by a really big black bull, and uh, you're just kind of a little bit nervous, because you know, like uh, he seems to be in a good mood, but uh, you know. <laughs> Growing up in uh, America, I've only ever seen a bull in a state of anger. So, the thing, you know, it's, it's a lighthearted, uh, but real experience. And it, it's reflective of sort of an ongoing experience that I've been having ever since I moved to India, which is that you can walk right by a bull and they don't care. I always just thought of bulls as they're so angry that you have to keep them in a small little place separate from the cows. But it turns out that that's why they're angry, is uh, kind of the way they're treated in, uh, well, I grew up in California, but, uh, you know, I saw that in California, and there's certainly traveling across the U.S. and in Spain, of course, there's the famous bull runs and bull fights, and then you've got you know, bull riding and bull this and bull that and, and the mechanical bull in the uh, dive bars in the movies anyway. I don't think I've ac actually ever been to a bar that had one of those. But that's bulls in uh, the culture that I uh, came from. And uh, then in Golden Dawn, we meditate on these archetypes, the lion, the man, the bull, and the eagle. And so if you ever... And this is why I'm making the point to say this. is It's not just a funny thing. It's a serious thing. Because I was a teacher. They gave, me a, they gave me a white robe when I was like a teenager. I was still a teenager, you know? And, uh, well, I guess technically I was 20 or maybe I had just turned 21. But, the, uh, you know, with the white robe. But I was a teacher still in philosophist when I was a teenager. And I used to help people with their universe card path working and if you know about the golden dawn system the universe card is what connects malkuth with the rest of the tree which is god which is the soul which is you which is the astral plane and it's so it's not a small thing and i always thought you know i think in in my own path working at the time as a teenager before i was a teacher back when i was in theorcus which was when i was like 12 no i was 16 going on 17 isn't there a song there um my, my, you know, I had ways that people would, you know, I would guide, do guided path working. Okay, now you see the man, he's wearing yellow, and he has your face, and he gives you the essence of 
air, you know, and then you meet the eagle and you ride on the back of the eagle and you fly through the universe and you come back and land. The eagle was always a big deal. And then uh, the lion, ferocious, you know, red, rawr, touch the lion and it fills you up with blood or fills your, makes your blood more red. And then you would get to the black bull and the black bull was sitting there stubborn. You know, like a Taurus, just not moving. And then the way to get the, the bull to move was you reach into the pocket of your astral robe and you pull out a big red cape and you'd shake the cape. And then, you know, the bull would get excited, you know, like he does on TV in Texas, right? And then he would run and you get out of the way at the last minute. Tora, you know? And, uh, and, and then the bull runs by, and then you move on, and you become one with Sandalfon, and then your all five elements are are in perfect harmony, and you move on into your sowed. And what I didn't realize was that my relationship with the earth was fucked up. I mean, my relationship with bulls was fucked up, and uh, you know um, that seems important. And so I thought I'd mention it. Um, yeah, they're they're very friendly. I mean, sometimes they're irritable, uh, you know, but uh, usually not. And um, I just thought I'd throw that out there. And, and next time you're invoking the bull of Earth, maybe uh, you know, if if your relationship with that archetype was unfortunately colored or tainted by um, by a culture's very not good relationship with with the animal itself might be something worth meditating on so that's why i thought i'd take a moment to explain and, and maybe hopefully undo a little bit of the damage i did un inadvertently as a kid okay so without further ado let's get to that fama fraternitatis recital shall we Seeing the only wise and merciful God in these latter days hath poured out so richly his mercy and goodness to mankind, whereby we do attain more and more to the perfect knowledge of his Son Jesus Christ and nature, that justly we may boast of the happy time wherein there is not only discovered unto us the half part of the world, which was heretofore unknown and hidden, but he hath also made manifest unto us many wonderful and never hitherto foreseen works and creatures of nature, and moreover hath raised men endued with great wisdom, which might partly renew and reduce all arts to perfection, so that finally man might thereby understand his own nobleness and worth why he is called microcosmos, and how far his knowledge extendeth in nature. Although the rude world herewith will be but little pleased, but rather smile and scoff thereat, also the pride and covetousness of the learned is so great, it will not suffer them to agree together. But were they united, they might out of all of those things which in this our age God doth so richly bestow upon us, collect librem naturae, or a perfect method of all arts. But such is their opposition that they still keep and are loth to leave the old course, esteeming porphyry, Aristotle and Galen, yea, and that which hath but a mere show of learning, more than the clear and manifested light and truth, who, if they were now living, with much joy would leave their erroneous doctrines. But here is too great weakness for such a great art. And although in theology, physic, and the mathematic, the truth doth oppose itself, nevertheless, the old enemy, by his subtlety and craft, doth show himself in hindering every good purpose by his instruments and contentious, wavering principle. To such an extent of a general reformation, the most godly and highly illuminated father, our brother, 
Christian Rosengruz, a German, the chief and original of our fraternity, hath much and long time labored, who by reason of his poverty, in the fifth year of his age was placed in a cloister, where he had learned indifferently the Greek and Latin tongues, who, being yet in his growing years, was associated to a brother P.A.L who had determined to go to the Holy Land. Although this brother died at Cyprus, and so never came to Jerusalem, yet our brother Christian Rosenkreutz did not return, but shipped himself over and went to Damascus, minding from thence to go to Jerusalem, but by reason of the feebleness of his body he remained still there, and by his skill in physic he obtained much favor with the Turks. In the meantime he became by chance acquainted with the wise men of Damasco in Arabia, and he held what wonders they wrought, and how nature was discovered unto them. Hereby was that high and noble spirit of Brother Christian Rosenkreutz so stirred up that Jerusalem was not so much now in his mind as Damascus, and he could not bridle his desires any longer, but made a bargain with the Arabians that they should carry him for a certain sum of money to Damascus. He was but of age of sixteen years when he came thither, yet of a strong Dutch constitution, where the wise received him, as he himself witnesseth, not as a stranger, but as one whom they had long expected. They called him by his name, and showed him other secrets out of his cloister, whereat he could not but mightily wonder. Dort lernte er die Arabische Sprache. Our brother, Christian Rosenkreutz, learned there better the Arabian tongue, so that the year following he translated the book M into good Latin, which he afterwards brought with him. This is the place where he did learn his physic, whereof the world hath just cause to rejoice if there were more love and less envy. After three years he returned again with good consent shipped himself over Sinus Arabicus into Egypt, where he remained not long, but only took better notice there of the plants and creatures. He sailed over the whole Mediterranean Sea, for to come unto Fez, where the Arabians had directed him. And it is a great shame unto us that wise men so far remote the one from the other should not only be of one opinion, hating all contentious writings, but also be so willing and ready under the seal of secrecy to impart their secrets to others. Every year the Arabians and Africans do send one to another, inquiring one of another out of their arts, if happily they had found out some better things, or if experience had weakened their reasons. Yearly there came something to light whereby the Mathematica, Physic and Magic, for in those are they of Fez most skillful were amended, as there is nowadays in Germany no want of learned men, magicians, cabalists, physicians, and philosophers, were there but more love and kindness among them, or that the most part of them would not keep their secrets close only to themselves. At Fez he did get acquaintance with those which are commonly called the elementary inhabitants, who revealed unto him many of their secrets as we Germans likewise might gather together many things, if there were the like unity and desire of searching out of secrets amongst us. Of those of Fez, he often did confess that their magia was not altogether pure, and also their Kabbalah was defiled with their religion. But notwithstanding, he knew how to make good use of the same, and found still more better grounds of his faith, altogether agreeable with the harmony of the whole world, and wonderfully impressed in all periods of time, and thence proceedeth that fair concord 
that as in every special kernel is contained a whole good tree or fruit, so likewise is including in the little body of man the whole great world, whose religion, policy, health, members, nature, language, words and works are agreeing, sympathizing, and in equal tune and melody with God, heaven and earth and that which is disagreeing with them is error, falsehood, and of the devil, who alone is the first, middle, and last cause of strife, blindness, and darkness in the world. Also, might one examine all and several persons upon the earth? He should find that which is good and right is always agreeing with itself but all the rest is spotted with a thousand erroneous conceits. After two years, our brother Rosenkreutz departed the city Fez and sailed with many costly things into Spain, hoping well he himself had so well and so profitably spent his time in his travel that the learned in Europe would highly rejoice with him and begin to rule and order all their studies according to those sound and sure foundations. He therefore conferred with the learned in Spain, showing unto them the errors of our arts and how they might be corrected, and from whence they should gather the true inditia of the times to come and wherein they ought to agree with those things that are past. Also how the faults of the church and the whole philosophia moralis was to be amended. He showed them new growths, new fruits and beasts, which did concord with old philosophy and prescribed them new axiomata, whereby all things might fully be restored. But it was to them a laughing matter, and being a new thing unto them, they feared that their great name should be lessened, if they should now again begin to learn and acknowledge their many erroneous errors to which they were accustomed and wherewith had gained them enough, who so loveth uniqueness, let him be reformed. The same song was also sung to him by other nations, the which moved him the more because it happened to him contrary to his expectation. Being then ready bountifully to impart all his arts and secrets to the learned, if they would have but undertaken to write the true and infallible axiomata, out of all faculties, sciences and arts, and whole nature, as that which he knew would direct them, like a globe or circle, to the only middle point and centrum, and, as it is usual among the Arabians, it should only serve to the wise and learned for a rule, that also there might be a society in Europe which might have gold, silver, and precious stones sufficient for to bestow them on kings for their necessary uses and lawful purposes, with which such as be governors might be brought up. For to learn all that which God hath suffered man to know, and hereby to be enabled in all times of need to give their counsel unto those that seek it, like the heathen oracle. Verily, we must confess that the world in those days was already big with those great commotions, laboring to be delivered of them, and did bring forth painful, worthy men, who break with all force through darkness and barbarism, and left us who succeed to follow them, and assuredly they have been the uppermost point in Tiragono Igneo, whose flame now should be more and more brighter, and shall undoubtedly give to the world the last light.
Such a one, likewise, hath Theophrastus been in vocation and calling. Although he was none of our fraternity, yet nevertheless hath he diligently read over the book M, whereby his sharp ingenium was exalted. But this man was also hindered in his course by the multitude of the learned and wise-seeming men, that he was never able peaceably to confer with others of the knowledge and understanding he had of nature. And therefore, in his writings, he rather mocked these busybodies, and doth not show them altogether what he was. Yet, nevertheless, there is found with him well-grounded the aforenamed harmonia, which without doubt he had imparted to the learned, if he had not found them rather worthy of subtle vexation than to be instructed in greater arts and sciences. He thus, with a free and careless life, lost his time, and left unto the world their foolish pleasures. But that we do not forget our loving father, Brother Christian Rosenkreutz, he, after many painful travels and his fruitless true instructions, returned again to Germany, the which he heartily loved by reason of the alterations which were shortly to come and of the strange and dangerous contentions. There, although he could have bragged with his art, but specifically of the transmutations of metals, yet did he esteem more heaven and men, the citizens thereof, than all vainglory and pomp. Nevertheless, he builded a fitting and neat habitation, in the which he ruminated his voyage and philosophy, and reduced them together in a true memorial. In this house he spent a great time in the mathematics, and made many fine instruments, ex omnibus hujus artis partibus, whereof there is but little remaining to us, as hereafter you shall understand. After five years came again into his mind the wished for reformation, and in regard he doubted of the aid and help of others, although he himself was painful, lusty, and unwearisome, howsoever he undertook, with some adjoined with him, to attempt the same. Wherefore he desired to that end to have out of his first cloister three of his brethren, Brother G. V., Brother I. A., and Brother I. O., who had some mere knowledge of the arts than at that time many others had. He did bind those three unto himself, to be faithful, diligent, and secret, as also to commit carefully writing all that which he should direct and instruct them in, to the end that those which were to come, and through a special revelation, should be received into this fraternity, might not be deceived of the least syllable and word. After this manner began the fraternity of the Rosy Cross, first by four persons only, and by them was made the magical language and writing, with a large dictionary, which we yet daily use for God's praise and glory, and do find great wisdom therein. They made also the first part of the book M, but in respect that that labor was too heavy, and the unspeakable concourse of the sick hindered them, and also whilst his new building, called Spiriti Sanctus, was now finished, they concluded to draw and receive others more into their fraternity. To this end was chosen Brother R.C., his deceased father's brother's son, Brother B., a skillful painter, G.G., and P.D., their secretary, all Germans except I.A., so in all they were eight in number, all bachelors and of vowed virginity, by whom was collected a book or volume of all that which men can desire, wish, or hope for. Obwohl wir aber freiwillig bekennen, 
Although we do now freely confess that the world is much amended within an hundred years, yet we are assured that our axiomata shall unmovably remain unto the world's end, and also the world in her highest and last age shall not attain to see anything else, for our rota takes her beginning from that day when God spake fiat, and shall end when he speak periot. Yet God's clock striketh every minute, where ours scarce striketh perfect hours. We also steadfastly believe that if our brethren and fathers had lived in this our present and clear life, they would more roughly have handled the Pope, Mohammed, scribes, artists, and sophisters, and had showed themselves more helpful, not simply with sighs and wishing of their end and consummation. When now these eight brethren had disposed and ordered all things in such manner, as there was not now need of any great labor, and also that everyone was sufficiently instructed and able perfectly to discourse of secret and manifest philosophy, they would not remain any longer together, but as in the beginning they had agreed, they separated themselves into several countries, because that not only their axiomata might in secret be more profoundly examined by the learned, but that they themselves, if in some country or other they observed anything, or perceived some error, they might inform one another of it. Their agreement was this. First, that none of them should profess any other thing than to cure the sick, and that gratis. Two, none of the posterity should be constrained to wear one certain kind of habit, but therein to follow the custom of the country. Three, that every year upon the day C, they should meet together at the house S. Spiritus, or write the cause of his absence. Four, every brother should look out for a worthy person whom after his decease might secede him. 5. The word CR should be their seal, mark, and character. 6. The fraternity should remain secret 100 years. These six articles they bound themselves one to another to keep, and five of the brethren departed. Only the brethren B and D remained with the father Frater R.C. a whole year. When these likewise departed, then remained by him his cousin and brother J.O., so that he hath all the days of his life with him two of his brethren. And although that as yet the church was not cleansed, nevertheless we know that they did think of her, and with what longing desire they looked for. Every year they assembled together with joy, and made a full resolution of that which they had done there must certainly have been great pleasure to hear truly and without invention related and rehearsed all the wonders which God hath poured out here and there through the world. Every one may hold it out for certain that such persons as were sent and joined together by God and the heavens and chosen out of the wisest of men as has lived in many ages did live together above all others in highest unity, greatest secrecy, and most kindness, one towards another. In einem solchen löblichen Wandel ging ihr Leben dahin. After such a most laudable sort, they did spend their lives. But although they were free from all diseases and pain, yet, notwithstanding, they could not live and pass their time appointed of God. The first of this fraternity which died, and that in England, was I.O., as Brother C., long before had foretold him, he was very expert and well-learned in Kabbalah, as his book called H. Witnesseth. In England, 
He is much spoken of, and chiefly because he cured a young Earl of Norfolk of the leprosy. They had concluded that as much as possibly could be, their burial place should be kept secret, as at this day it is not known unto us what is become of some of them. Yet everyone's place was supplied with a fit successor. But this we will confess publicly by these presents to the honor of God that what secret soever we have learned out of the book M, although before our eyes we uphold the image and pattern of all the world, yet are there not shown unto us our misfortunes, nor hour of death, the which only is known to God himself, who thereby would have us keep in a continual readiness, but hereof more in our confession, where we do set down 37 reasons, wherefore we now do make known our fraternity, and proffer such high mysteries freely, without constraint and reward. Also, we do promise more gold than both the Indies bring to the King of Spain, for Europe is with child, and will bring forth a strong child, who shall stand in need of a great godfather's gift. After the death of I.O., Brother R.C. rested not, but, as soon as he could, called the rest together, and then, as we suppose, his grave was made. Although hitherto we, who were the latest, did not know when our loving father R.C. died, and had no more but the bare names of the beginners, and all their successors to us. Yet there came into our memory a secret, which, though dark and hidden, words and speeches of a hundred years, Brother A, the successor of D, who was the last and second row of succession, and had lived amongst many of us, did impart unto us the third row and succession. Otherwise, we must confess that after the death of the said A, none of us had in any matter known anything of Brother C.R., and of his first fellow brethren, than that which was extent of them in our philosophical bibliotheca, amongst which our axiomata was held for the chiefest, Rota Mundi, for the most artificial and protheus, for the most profitable. Likewise, we do not certainly know if these of the second row have been of like wisdom as the first, and if they were admitted to all things. It shall be declared hereafter to the gentle reader not only what we have heard of the burial of R.C., but also it shall be made manifest publicly by the foresight, sufferance, and commandment of God, whom we most faithfully obey, that if we shall be answered discreetly and Christian-like, we will not be ashamed to set forth publicly in print our names and surnames, our meetings, or anything else that may be required at our hands. Now, the true and fundamental relation of the finding out of the high illuminated man of God, Frater CRC, is this. After that A in Gallia Narbonensi was deceased, there succeeded in his place our loving brother N.N. This man, after he had repaired unto us to take the solemn oath of fidelity and secrecy, informed us bona fide that A had comforted him in telling him that this fraternity should ere long not remain so hidden, but should be to all the whole German nation helpful, needful, and commendable, of the which he was not in any wise in his estate ashamed. The year following, after he had performed his school rite and was minded now to travel, being for that purpose sufficiently provided with Fortunatus purse, he thought he being a good architect, to alter something of his building, and to make it more fit. In such renewing, he lighted upon the memorial table, which was cast of brass, and containeth all the names of the brethren, with some few other things. 
This he would transfer into another more fitting vault, for where or when Brother R.C. died, or in what country he was buried, was by our predecessors concealed and unknown unto us. In this table stuck a great nail, somewhat strong, so that when it was with force drawn out, it took with it an indifferent big stone out of the thin wall of plastering of the hidden door, and so unlooked for uncovered the door, whereat we did with great joy and longing throw down the rest of the wall and cleared the door, upon which was written in great letters, Post Senti Vigintum Anus Putebo, with the year of our Lord under it. Therefore we gave God thanks, and let it rest that same night, because first we would overlook our rota, but we refer ourselves again to the confession, for what we here publish is done for the help of those that are worthy, but to the unworthy, God willing, it will be small profit. For, like as our door was after so many years wonderfully discovered, also there shall he opened a door to Europe when the wall is removed, which already doth begin to appear, and with great desire is expected of many. In the morning following, we opened the door, and there appeared to our sight a vault of seven sides and seven corners, every side five foot broad, and the height of eight foot. Although the sun never shined in this vault, nevertheless it was enlightened with another sun, which had learned this from the sun, and was situated in the upper part of the center of the siding. In the midst, instead of a tombstone, was a round altar covered with a plate of brass, and thereon this engraven, ACRC, Hoc Universi Compendium Unis Mihi Sepulchrum Fici. Round about the first circle or brim stood Yeshua Mihi Omnia. In the middle were four figures enclosed in circles, whose circumscription was Nequaquam vacuum, legis yugum, libertas evangelii, de intacta gloria. This is all clear and bright, as also the seventh side and the two heptagons. So we kneeled down together and gave thanks to the soul wise, soul mighty, and soul eternal God, who hath taught us more than all men's wits could have found out. Praised be his holy name. Dieses Gewölbe unterteilten wir in drei Teile: die Kuppel oder den Himmel, die Wände oder das Vault. We parted in three parts: the upper part or siding, the wall or side, the ground or floor. Of the upper part, you shall understand no more at this time but that it was divided according to the seven sides in the triangle which was in the bright center. But what therein is contained, you that are desirous of our society, shall, God willing, behold the same with your own eyes. Every side or wall is parted into ten squares, every one with their several figures and sentences, as they are truly showed and set forth concentratum here in our book. The bottom again is parted in the triangle, but because therein is described the power and rule of the inferior governors, we leave to manifest the same, for fear of the abuse by the evil and ungodly world. But those that are provided and stored with the heavenly antidote do without fear or hurt tread on and bruise the head of the old and evil serpent, which this our age is well fitted for. Every side or wall had a door for a chest wherein there lay diverse things especially all our books, which otherwise we had, besides the vocabulario of Theophrastus, Paracelsus of Hodenheim, and these which daily unfalsifieth 
we do participate. Herein also we found his itinerario and vita, whence this relation for the most part is taken. In another chest were looking glasses of diverse virtues, as also in other places were little bells, burning lamps, and chiefly wonderful artificial songs, generally all was done to that end, that if it should happen, after many hundred years, the fraternity should come to nothing, they might, by this onely vault, be restored again. Now, as we had not yet seen the dead body of our careful and wise father, we therefore removed the altar aside. Then we lifted up a strong plate of brass and found a fair and worthy body, whole and unconsumed, as the same is here lively counterfeited, with all the ornaments and attires. In his hand he held a parchment called tea, the which, next unto the Bible, is our greatest treasure, which ought not to be delivered to the censure of the world. At the end of this book standeth this following Olegium. Granum pectori Jesu institum. CRC ex nobili atque splendida Germanae RC familiae oriundus vir sui seculi divinis revelationibus subtilissimis imaginationibus in deficis laboribus ad coelistia atque humana mysteria arcanave ad misus postquam suam quam aribico et africano itineribus collegerat plus quam regiam atque imperatorium Gazam suo seculo nondum convenientem posteritati eruendam custodiviset et jam suaram artium, ut et nominis fides ac conjunctissimus heredes instituiset mundum minitum omnibus motibus magno ili respondentem fabricaset hocque tandem preteritarum presentium et futurarum rerum compendio extracto centenario major non morbo quem ipse nunquam corpore expertus erat nunquam elios infestare sinibat, ulo pelente sed spiritis de evocante, illuminatam animam inter fratrum amplexus et ultima oscula, fidelissimo creatori deo redidiset pater delictissimus Frater suavissimus, acceptor fidelissimus, amicus integerimus, a suis ad 120 annos hic absconditus est. Underneath, they had inscribed themselves. 1. Frater I.A., Frater C.H., Electione Fraternitatis Caput. Frater G V M P C, Frater F R C, Junior Harris S Spiritus, Frater F B M P A, Pictor et Architectus, Frater G G M P I, Cabalista, Secundi Serculi, 
Frater P A successor Frater I O Mathematicus Frater A successor Frater P D Frater R successor Patris C R C cum Christo triumphantis at the end was written ex Deo nachimor in Jesu morimor per spiritum sanctum revivicius. At that time was already dead, Brother I.O. and Brother D. But there is burial place. Where is it to be found? We doubt not. But our frater senior hath the same, and some especial thing laid in earth, and perhaps likewise hidden. We also hope that this our example will stir up others more diligently to inquire after their names, which we have therefore published, and to search for the place of their burial. The most part of them, by reason of their practice and physic, are yet known and praised among very old folks, so might perhaps our Gaza be enlarged, or at least be better cleared. Concerning Minutum Mundum, we found it kept in another little altar, truly more finer than can be imagined by any understanding man. But we will leave him undescribed until we shall be truly answered upon this our true-hearted Fama. So we have covered it again with the plates, and set the altar thereon, shut the door, and made it sure with all our seals. Moreover, by instruction and command of our rota, there are come to sight some books, among which is contained M, which were made instead of household care by the praiseworthy MP. Finally, we departed the one from the other and left the natural heirs in possession of our jewels. And so we do expect the answer and judgment of the learned and unlearned. Howbeit we know after a time there will be now a general reformation, both of divine and humane things, according to our desire and the expectation of others. For it is fitting that before the rising of the sun there should appear and break forth aurora, or some clearness, or divine light in the sky. And so, in the meantime, some few which shall give their names may join together, thereby to increase the number and respect of our fraternity, and make a happy and wished-for beginning of our philosophical canons, prescribed to us by our brother R.C., and be partakers of us, of our treasures, which never can fail or be wasted, in all humility and love to be eased of this world's labors and not walk so blindly in the knowledge of the wonderful works of God. But that also every Christian may know of what religion and belief we are, we confess to have the knowledge of Jesus Christ, as the same now in these last days, and chiefly in Germany, most clear and pure is professed, and nowadays cleansed and void of all swerving people, heretics, and false prophets. In certain and noted countries maintained, defended, and propagated. Also, we use two sacraments, as they are instituted with all forms and ceremonies of the first and renewed church. In Politia, we acknowledge the Roman Empire and the Quartum Monarchium for our Christian head, albeit we know what alterations be at hand and would fain impart the same with all our hearts to other godly learned men, notwithstanding our handwriting, which is in our hands. No man, except God alone, can make it common nor any unworthy person is able to bereave us of it. But we shall help with secret aid this so good a cause, as God shall permit or hinder us. For our God is not blind, as the heathen's fortuna, but is the church's ornament and the honor of the temple. Our philosophy, also, is not a new invention, but as Adam, after his fall, hath received it, and as Moses and Solomon used it, also it ought not 
much to be doubted of or contradicted by other opinions or meanings, but seeing the truth is peaceable, brief, and always like herself in all things, and especially accorded by, with Jesus, in omni part, and all members. And as he is the true image of the Father, so is she his image. So it shall not be said, this is true according to philosophy, but true according to theology, and wherein Plato, Aristotle, Pythagoras, and others did hit the mark, and wherein Enoch, Abraham, Moses, Solomon did excel, but especially wherewith that wonderful book, the Bible, agreeeth. All that same concurreth together, and maketh a sphere or globe, whose total parts are equidistant from the center. As hereof more at large and more plain shall be spoken of in Christianly conference, in Den Bok de Levens. But, now concerning, and chiefly in this our age, the ungodly and accursed gold-making, which hath gotten so much the upper hand, whereby under color of it, many runagates and roguish people do use great villainies, and cozen and abuse the credit which is given them. Yea, nowadays men of discretion do hold the transmutation of metals to be the highest point and fastigium in philosophy. This is all their intent and desire and that God would be most esteemed by them and honored, which could make great store of gold, the which would unpremediate prayers they hope to obtain of the all-knowing God and searcher of all hearts. But we by these presents publicly testify that the true philosophers are far of another mind, esteeming little the making of gold, which is but a paragon, for besides that they have a thousand better things. We say with our loving father CRC, Phi Orium Nisi Quantum Orum, for unto him the whole nature is detected. He doth not rejoice that he can make gold, and that, as saith Christ, the devils are obedient unto him, but is glad that he seeth the heavens open, and the angels of God ascending and descending, and his name written in the Book of Life. Also, we do testify that, under the name of Chimia, many books and pictures are set forth in Contumenium Gloria Dei, as we will name them in their due season, and will give to the pure-hearted a catalog or register of them. We pray all learned men to take heed of these kind of books, for the enemy never resteth, but soweth his weeds till a stronger one doth root them out. So, according to the will and meaning of Frater CRC, we his brethren, Request. again all the learned in Europe, who shall read, sent forth in five languages, this our fama and confessio, that it would please them with good deliberation to ponder this our offer, and to examine most nearly and sharply their arts, and behold the present time with all diligence, and to declare their mind, either communicato, concilio, or singulatim by print. And although at this time we make no mention either of our names or meetings, yet nevertheless everyone's opinion shall assuredly come to our hands, in what language soever it be, nor anybody shall fail. Whoso gives but his name to speak with some of us, either by word of mouth or else, if there be some let in writing, and this we say for a truth, that whosoever shall earnestly and from his heart bear affection unto us, it shall be beneficial for him in goods, body, and soul. But he that is false-hearted or onely greedy of riches, the same, first of all, shall not able in any matter of wise to hurt us, but bring himself to utter ruin and destruction. Also, our building, 
Although 100,000 people had very near seen and beheld the same, shall forever remain untouched, undestroyed, and hidden to the wicked world. Sub umbra alarum tuarum Yahweh. Thank you to Father CRC for all the good work. You know, uh, <laughs> there was a time when my mom passed away and my grandma said, I want to live in my house. You know, it was her house, it was in her name. So my sister and I said, okay, and she moved in. And, uh, and I, you know, so I thought it, I should probably mention, um, well, this is a little bit out of order, but long story short, I told her, you know, there's a temple in our home, our house. And what kind of temple? Is it, is it Christian? Yes, yes, it's Christian. It's, a, it's a Rosicrucian. What? Rosicrucian? What's that? Is the rose and cross? And I said, you know how the, the Lutheran cross, it has that rose on it? Yeah. You see, Martin Luther... He wasn't just a reformer of, uh, you know, Christianity, because uh, my grandma was Protestant, so she liked Martin Luther. No, he had a secret life as well. He was also known as Father CRC, and he, uh, he started a secret uh, movement where people would really get in depth and not just on the surface. So there was the exoteric Christianity and the esoteric Christianity, and he was, he was the head of both. And so she and her priest, or the, the, I guess the, they call it a rector, had a lot of fun on Google uh, that afternoon. I assume it was Google back then. Um, maybe it wasn't actually, it was in the late 90s. So they got on the search engines anyway and, and uh, had a very confusing afternoon. So that's fun. You know, blessings to my grandma, wherever she may be now, on, on whatever plane. Uh, special thanks to Susumu Ueda and his father and the other monks at Jofuku Inn on Mount Koyasan for the music you're hearing right now. And uh, I've forgotten his name, so I'll add it in post. Special thanks to Koji Kondo for composing this wonderful music uh, for the Zelda games. I mean, I know he composed at least the the earlier stuff. I don't know if he composed the later stuff, but, um, you know, and then it was put into orchestral form. Special thanks to all the people who own all the rights to all the music that I used and all, everyone in the orchestra and everything. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's recital of the Fama Fraternitatis, and I hope you got something out of it. Um, maybe a hmm? Or a ah! Or a hmm? Or a <gasps> I didn't realize, you know, or, or any of those, maybe all of those. Um, and uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. Special thanks to you. Uh, thank you to Camille and Kennerly for the harp transition into and out of the recital. Um, special thanks to an artist that, uh, if you're from the LA art scene, you may know, uh, named Delphia. I asked her for a little bit of help. Um, designing, redesigning, adding a few things to my tattoo. And uh, what she came up with was what you've been staring at for the past 40 minutes. Oh, did you notice? Uh, for those of you watching Buddhist books, that's Buddhist books, and here's a clip. Do you notice anything different about me? Huh? Huh? It's a bookshelf! That was me um, in, in part six of the Dhammapada reading. Um, yeah, check out Buddhist books. It's over on Edward Reed channel. And um, so if you've, if you've seen that, then you already know about the bookshelf here. Um, it's new. Oh, and Groku. Is that his name? Groku? Or Baby Yoda? Okay. Thank you all for tuning in. Good night.